Don't you the car is a pussy mag. No, you <laughs> might be the pussy mag. Mm, I, okay. <laughs> oh shit, man. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yo, it's coming for you. Man. Help. You're a pussy magnet. Look at that. Oh shit. Actually, no. If you look at this ass. Boys, welcome to another video. Now imagine, imagine your car breaks and your friend has a car and you take the car because you need a car. Now imagine if said car is running sports summer tires and it's the winter. You can tell it's the winter because everything looks dead and sad. Thank you, winter, for making everything dead and sad. Now, today we're going to talk about why it's not a good idea to drive with summer tires in the winter. Even though there is no snow, it's still a bad idea because we were here in the more mountainous area and some corners were very sketchy with zero grip. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't recommend doing this, but hey, if you got to do it, you got to do it. Now, this being a race car, you can tell that this is a race track car by this. What does this mean? It means it's been raced. You can also tell why this is a race car, if you follow me. We're not going to use that door. I prefer this door. You can tell is this a race car because it has heated seats. <laughs> All race cars have heated seats and climate control. And, uh, but this is, this is why this is a really racy car. It's got angel eyes. What am I doing? This is not a review. Don't look at this. Don't fucking look at this. Look at the cat. Don't Oh. <laughs> okay. What the fuck do you mean? It's now? a bipolar cat. Oh, look at this little boy. Oh, don't, don't bite me, you fucking. Moron. Right. Let's get, let's get back on track now. On track, huh? So, a few additional reasons why this is a bad idea to drive in the winter, specifically this. Now this, what is it, where does it say? Oh shit, now it's gonna be a fucking wall. Um, okay. Oh, we got the dot here. Does it, can you see? Yep. Oop. As you can see, that's a, that's a bad number if you, if you know your tires. These, these are good tires and to be fair, like in the, in the summer they still work, but maybe not this summer if you can, if you can see here, dry rot has uh, started to set. The tire tread is low and um, these tires, as this is a race car, as we've said before, have been raced. As such, racing, when you, when you race on a track with tires that are not, you know, for racing on a track, they're more for racing on the streets, which is legal, illegal, you know. Not in Mexico. Not in Mexico. Or the road from Sofia to to Bulgograd. Only only Bulgarian homies know that shit, and probably other people that traveled. Whatever. And the police. And the and the police boy. Um, what, what what was I saying? Right. Racing on tires uh, makes them do bad things, and you lose traction. Traction and tread, which has happened here. <laughs> so. Let's recap. It's cold outside, even though I'm like this and it's sunny. First, first sun in like uh, in in a, in a month or something, right? It might it might look it might look like you can drive this. I mean, I am driving this. It's just not a good idea. What am I? You know, this video is uh, inform this infomercial, right? Is here to tell you don't do this unless you need to. But then you gotta you know you're doing it at your own risk. And at the risk of other people, you mean because you fucking you do a bad one into a into a stopped car, you kill a, f a few people. That's who fucking dies from car crashes uh, these days, anyway. That's not true. I'm fucking especially Bulgaria. Hey, yo, shout out Southeastern Europe and Eastern Europe. We die a lot in cars, bad tinted. That's like a, a cultural thing. So fuck you, Western people. Fuck you, France, England, talking about how we die in cars. That's like, that's our culture. We just like to die in cars. 
We just like to die in general. Oh fuck, dude. Hey, yo, no, that's that's uh, that's like twenty somethings. Anybody, everybody who's older than fifteen to twenty five right now, we all want to die, bro. Gonna do a hot start. There are people there. It's awkward. Oh. Come and see this. This is a very bad light. A very evil fucking light. <laughs> Yo, give it a rev. Oh. Let me get the door for you. Thank this you. This is a VIP service. No other reason. Can you hold while I put my... Yes, yes. Uh, also, as you can see, the... oh no, actually it's gone. The, the front window was a bit fogged up, so we're going to do... Oh, this is a very cool button. It's got front window defrosting and rear window defrosting, which is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We don't need this. Thing, no. Right. Oh, it's hot. Hello, people. Now, if you can actually fi look, film, film. Bro, is that a silencer on that shit, bro? Yo, I'm gonna... F look at that shit. Dude, 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 what the hell? Hey yo, my guy's playing Call of Duty IRL. See us go. What's up? Let's go. We've got a sniper in the house. Mind you, this is Bulgaria. This is the European Union. You can't, you can't just have weapons <laughs> unless you, you know, you you can get a weapon either illegally or legally. But it's a bit hard, very hard to get it legally. Whatever. This is not FPS Bulgaria. We're not going to talk about that. So. Uh... I was hoping for a loss of traction, but I mean, I told you the tires are still good. Now, this is where the sketchy shit gets. As you can see, it's wet and uh, fucking shady. What's gonna happen if I hit the brakes? Damn. Only ABS, but we stopped. Yeah. Yeah. I should have. There's nobody behind us. <laughs> you really should check those things. Oh. Obviously, you can't film uh, feel it, but it's very loose, <laughs> very loose, especially the rear end because it's so far behind us and it's so light. Uh, it likes to. Now, what's happened here? This looks like something very illegal's happened. Like yeah. We're bootlegging. Did we crash? Did oh, they, they have crash? crashed. This is why you don't drive. In this, in the winter with summer tires, I bet you that motherfucker doesn't have good tires on that. I bet you it's like ten-year-old summer tires, like even fucking whatever kind of tire. M might be a winter tire. It's just been driven all year, you know, all seasons. But it's just the winter tire, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. <laughs> As you can see, accidents happen. A lot of people. It's fucking. It's the 20, 23rd, right yeah. before... Um, Christmas. No, the day before Christmas. What is it called? Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, yes. And there's a, a ton of people on the roads. Mind you, it's, it's, they should be at work. What the fuck are you doing? Even here, the rear end likes to try and... No! You fuck. There's a bus and a truck. A bus and a truck, and now we're here on the side of the road. <clears throat> to wait it out. Let's leave. Hopefully there's no holes in front of us. There is one, a light one. Let's see, let's see what happens. It's very frosty looking. <laughs> we were not allowed to move there. <laughs> it was, uh, you can see how sleety it looks. I wouldn't, like I wouldn't trust it this road, even with winter tires. It's still got grip here. Oh, we've got grip here. Now we, we actually understeered a lot, surprisingly. No, it's, it's good here, it's good here. No, it's not good here. 
the detraction come on from just from just uh, the tail whipping. It can sometimes. Isn't it just traction control, not not uh, ESP? Well, I don't know. God, so many cars. Yeah, it's, it's got grip here now. Oh, <laughs> we lost the tail. Oh, oh yeah. No. You see this shit, yeah. bro? Fuck that. Let's go Ford 2000 economic. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about. It looks like a normal road, but it's not. Obviously, you need to be a bit stupid to be doing these things. Because it's you can see. Come on. Plus, we're in the mountains. Look at this shit. You got to think. But a lot of people don't think. A lot of people fucking wait for the snow to put on snow tires, they wait for the snow and don't put on snow tires, they just drive, like, fuck it. They're probably gonna snow plow the streets. And they just drive with summer tires. I don't know why, no. Well, this is spooky. Nice Tesla. Just so we equalize yeah. the carbon, uh, the carbon footprint of this stretch of the road. But actually, we've got catalytic converters and everything, right? Yep. Just, uh, just the uh, the end pipe. Smells like, like perfume. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Can you actually feel? Yep. Where, where are? Is this the Alps? What is this? The Alps. The Sofia Alps. The Sofia Alps. <laughs> Amazing. And this is this right there is a fucking shit. Hello, ninety-eight. Technically, you can pass no, it. There's a car coming. Plus oh yeah. I don't know if I'm not gonna stop one, would I mean, this is the right time to crash if we were we were to crash. Because this goes, if this video goes viral, we can afford to, to fix the car. <laughs> yeah, because we were filming like that dude that flipped uh, the, the Norwegian dude, Far Ray Films. If you know, he he had a video where he was drifting with a with a E36 or something, and he flipped it. <laughs> he fell into the bank and flipped it, and got viral. He makes cool videos. Shout out. Shout out, bro. You know, the thing about traction is you have it until you don't. Yes. It's very important to actually experience the loss, the loss of traction. Uh, so you know where, you know, what happens when you lose it. And plus, it's good to know your, uh, your own car, the car you're driving, what, how it's going to react and whatnot. Because this is a bit more predictable. Or I was expecting, you know, what was going to happen. If this was the land ship, you could just fucking gonna lose it and we we went drifting once snow drifting um, and I lost the car coming out of the corner into the straight and, he, and, and Chris had to push it <laughs> out of the bank I don't know what happened then again I only had the I only had a license for uh, for like a month back then now I'm a more experienced confident driver it's the most logical thing when you have your license for one month to go into the mountain to go into the mountain snow by the way I mean to go into the mountain first snow go into the mountain with a ton of other people who goes into the mountains at night people who want to do bad things now it happens to be that all those people wanted to do bad things that include your rear end going sideways so it was a lot of people on the road uh, I was very very worried I also didn't have enough fuel so I, we ran out of fuel but it was back in front of my house, we ran out of fuel. Yeah, we had to get fuel with yeah. <laughs> with this car. Yeah, we actually had to get fuel with this car, bring it back to my car, install the fuel, then get to the to the gas station, and install more fuel because it was only a four, five liter uh, jerry can. This is a video about tires. I guess this is kind of into yeah. the tire section. Oh, oh man, we're going so slow. That was not a perfect man rev match. Except the car is ex right. rep limiter and corners. Now this is the time we slow down. It's time for the driving part, the driving section part two. After the little podcast, I don't know how how much of this is going into the video, of course. But we brainstormed a few great ideas with cars and, and stuff for the for the channel. So actually got really excited right now this is where we get get back to the sketchy shit right get back to this look at this road oh oh man yeah yeah it's like doesn't react you know it's not good 
biker mat. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whip it here because it's a very tight spot. Plus car drive whip it. No, imagine if we were rear wheel driving this bitch. We'd be <laughs> fucking dead. Look at how. No, it's got it. You can hear it like lose traction a bit, but I'm also like pushing pushing it. Plus it really matters like Summer tires in the cold don't work as well because of the compound. It's the, the compound is important, so that's what. It's also different from asphalt to asphalt. Yes, it's so many factors, dude. So many factors. Now this was like an, a a proper informational video. You wouldn't know about these things. We would have said, but this is about memes and stuff and doing sketchy shit on public roads. It's not sketchy. Maybe going forty. If we hit something, it's not. Really Unless we hit somebody head on, straight on. Let's not, let's not think about that. Let's, yeah. let's keep it, let's keep it normal. Okay, corner. Engine braking, very important. It, uh, with sticky condition. <laughs> this is, uh, I can tell you from the feel that it's, it's not, it's not good. And the door opens. Yeah, nice. Yeah, um, there... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulty. Yeah, but we've got... You, you can feel it. It's fucking... goes... goes awry. Obviously, I'm in control. But it doesn't take... It takes... Very, not the brakes. I think it was a... <laughs> No, I need to do it. Lift off over steer into the corner. Yep. That was lift we off. fucking die. On public roads. That, that is the reason why I don't drive this car at night. <laughs> it gets cold at night. I mean, it's acceptable now, but... Plus, I live in these areas where, you know, higher up. One would say in the Sofia Hills. I'm about to fight. Oh, that was a lot of spit. I'm about to fight a tiger. Oh shit, mate. You wanna fight, mate? Oh. Okay, maybe he doesn't wanna fight. But he just fucking bit me. Shout out to Steve Irwin. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Crikey. Oh yeah, mate. There's a guy. Oh, you fucking cut. Did you fuck? Did you see that? Nope. Fucking. Help. Shit. I'm gonna get. Keeps attacking us. I'm just trying to film a, a high quality video here. High quality content. Nice Audi A4. Bitch. 